Frank DiPergola, he's the guy you see being hauled away by the Massachusetts State Police in the first two photos. He was a friend, a frequent companion of the Springfield mob boss, Big Al Bruno. DiPergola was playing cards with Bruno, some other guys, November 23, uh, 2003. Two guys ran into the club. It's a private club, and they were having their regular Saturday night game. So they knew Bruno would be there. Uh, they fired six shots. They hit Bruno in the head, the torso, the groan. It was a hit. It was a planned murder. Di Pergola was the only witness, uh, well, aside from the actual shooter for hires, a guy named Frankie Roach. But he told the police he couldn't make a positive identification of the shooter, which is, you know, not unlikely. I, we don't know if he knew Roach personally. Di Pergola had a reputation as a big, big earner for Springfield. Uh, and officially, anyway, he was never recognized as a member of the mob although they did him favors throughout his career. When the feds decided to take apart the Springfield mob in early to mid-2000, Despergola pled guilty to a 2006 loan sharking charge. He admitted he had been involved in the collections on behalf of the Bruno organization from Westfield, pizza shop owner. They were shaking him down. Uh, the debtor is a guy named Leo Donnell, was a government witness, and the interactions between him and Pergola and the other guys were all caught on videotape. Di Pergola was convicted of loan sharking. He's sent to federal prison. He was released in 2008, and as far as I know, he's still out and happy.